What's going on, you guys? Um, so I got a, a bunch of questions from you guys this week, last week, pretty much all the time. Um, and I get it from guys who are looking to build more confidence. And, and this is the number one thing that I work on in my programs. I work on this very intensely with my students. And one of the things that I'm trying to cultivate is not just this temporary kind of woohoo confidence that you get from a lot of self-help, but you know, I'm really trying to make sure that these guys develop long-term confidence. Um, and it is possible to build. You can build long-term confidence, and I, I do it all the time. But it really takes a lot of different things. It takes a consistent action, you know, effort over a long period of time. It takes demonstrated performance so you can actually see yourself doing the things you're bringing to you. Okay, I can do this. Uh, and then finally, it, you're going to have to ask yourself some really tough questions and dig down to what is the core of your fear, okay? And, and these things take a long period of time to do. It's something that I'm actually going to be working on extensively in my workshop this weekend. So if you guys want in on that workshop, it's just $33. Basically, just click on the survey below, uh, fill it out, and then I'll send you the payment link, okay? So um, that is how you develop long term confidence, like lifelong confidence, is if you do those things extensively. Now, it's for me to work on this in this video, it's just it's gonna be too long. So are there some things that I can give you right now that if you implement them, you can start building confidence today? Well, luckily there are. I'm gonna give you three of these things. Um, I've talked about these things uh, here and there, um, but this is going to be a more succinct summary of it. So uh, the first one that I'm going to cover is um, go for small goals. You want to stack small wins is how I like to think of it, okay? So if you're the type of guy that's going out all the time and you talk to a bunch of women and, you know, they don't sleep with you and you go home thinking that's a failure because the women that you talk to didn't sleep with you, okay, well, you're going to be experiencing a lot of failure all the time. You're going to be telling yourself you're not, you suck, you're not good enough, women don't like you. But the truth is, is does every guy sleep with every woman that he talks to? No, no guy does that. And to, to expect yourself to do that is very, very unreasonable. That goal is ridiculous, you know? So a better goal might be to, uh, to say, hey, you know, I hope I can get this girl to smile. Or, I, you know, if I have a conversation with her for longer than a minute, that's a win. Even before that, if a guy can't even hold a conversation, can't even start a conversation with a girl that he likes, I would recommend that he just start by smiling or saying hi. If he can make eye contact with a girl, that's a win. Dude, if even at this point when I go out with all the experience that I have, if I go out and I talk to a bunch of girls and you know maybe the girl I like doesn't come home with me or I don't you know get a date or something like that, I still focus on the positives, man. I'm like, that girl smiled at me, she likes me, she wants it, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> Whatever you got to tell yourself, um, you know, that's I'm, I'm feeding myself with positive feedback. So one way that you can start doing this is to write down things that you can do in the, uh, you know, in the morning or something like that. Write down very small goals that you can do that you know you can achieve. What that's going to tell yourself, it's just going to tell your brain, hey, I can achieve these goals. So then when you go up and talk to a girl, your brain tells yourself, hey, I've accomplished all these other goals. I could probably accomplish this one too. That's how you start building confidence. You don't start building confidence by beating yourself up and yelling at yourself. You build it up by stacking small wins. Okay, so that's the first thing. You want to start out with that. The second thing that I would recommend that you do is start visualizing success. Success. Uh, a big part of what uh, very successful people do is they picture it again and again. Now, I do a lot of jujitsu, and probably the best guy in jujitsu right now, I don't know if this is kind of like a niche example, uh, is a guy named Gordon Ryan, okay? Gordon Ryan uh, got his black belt in around five years. He had never done jujitsu, never done grappling before, which is unheard of. You know, it typically takes a guy more than 10 years to get his black belt. And then on top of that, in his sixth, fifth and sixth year, he won worlds and he was one of the best no-gi grapplers in the world in just that period. He was beating people that had been doing it for, you know, two decades um, and been doing it their whole lives every day. What put him ahead of all of those other competitors was he says this numerous times. He would have to drive two hours to get to practice each way so for four to five hours a day he's driving and the whole time he's driving he's picturing the moves that he's going to do he's picturing things that are going to happen very top level athletes use visualization drills even business magnets use visualization drills they visualize the su success before it happens now the best way to use a visualization drill is to picture the thing happening but picture things that could go wrong picture potential objections if you're talking to a girl and her friend walks in and she wants to leave if you maybe you're um, you're on a date and the waiter spills, I don't know, like uh, spills the food on you. How do you react? 
Make sure that you're reacting with cool, calm, relaxed confidence the best way possible. You handle every single objection or situation that happens to you with the coolest of confidence. That way, when you do actually talk to a girl, you're gonna be that much more confident because literally you've pictured all the things that could go wrong and you're yourself handling them uh, perfectly. So if it does go wrong, you're prepared to handle it, okay? So visualize things in the future. There's so many studies that have proven that this is true uh, and it's something that I do in my life as well too and I recommend that my students do. Okay. The thing three is get some help or cultivate your environment, okay? I would recommend getting a mentor or a coach. You can even get a therapist as well too, okay? I get coaches in my life too, and that's one of the reasons why this program exists because building confidence, if you just wanna be that lone wolf where you just get the confidence only from yourself, you only rely on yourself, well, I would encourage you to look at other successful people that you would consider to be very, very confident. You know, for instance, Tiger Woods has a golfing coach. Why would Tiger Woods have a golfing coach if he's like the best golfer on the earth? Well, he wants to stay the best golfer on the earth. By the way, I don't really follow golf, so I don't know if he's still the best golfer on the planet, so don't, <laughs> don't get mad at me if he isn't. Um, but he has a golfing coach because he needs another guy there. When he's having a bad day, what, what does he need to do? How, do? how does he pick himself back up? How does he get feedback when, he's not, when, he's feel like, when he feels like he's hitting a wall? The way I like to look at it is if you just want to be that lone soldier and go after your goals in that way, that's fine. But you're going to be a lot more effective with an army than just being a lone wolf. And uh, having people at your back, having a mentor, having somebody there to help you out is the best way to do it. I mean, in my life, I have several coaches. I've, I've even, uh, I'm even working with guys who are way ahead of uh, me when it comes to dating coaching. We've been doing it for a long time that I've learned from. And yes, I try and make my stuff better, um, but I'm constantly learning and I'm constantly trying to make myself into the best version of who I am. And I'm not doing it just by myself. I'm getting help. I'm using the resources that are available to me. And I would encourage you guys to do the same. You know, that's why I came out with this program, uh, which is only $33, the cheapest thing I've ever offered, um, ever. Uh, and it's, what it's really designed to do is it's really designed to help you guys through these different processes. So, you know, we've talked about approach anxiety. We've talked about um, this now. Um, so if you are looking to build lifelong confidence, I would recommend that you don't try and do it by yourself. Um, doing it by yourself is one of the hardest things to do. I, I did it for years, um, and eventually I ended up getting help, and my results just went, whew. It was, it was an exponential curve after I started doing that. So cool. If you guys are interested in that, again, the link is in the description box below. I would love to see you this Friday. Guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to be releasing another video pretty much every single day this week. So uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.